it's a hot one out here in Texas again. We've been out of uh, rain, no rain, zero rain for over a month out here in East Texas. And uh, we've been about 100 degrees. Um, well, well above 100 degrees, but nothing less than 100 in over 30 days out here already. It's getting bad. So I'm out here doing my daily rotation and I don't see any more liquid down there at the bottom except for that tiny bit. Not enough for me to drain it. But this is what our bacon is looking like right now or our pork belly is looking like. So I'm not, I haven't covered it up or anything. It is exposed in the refrigerator. Here's what that looks like. And I just turned it a little while ago. So we'll see how that turns out. And then down here, you guys. Today I'm gonna mess around with this. I had nothing else to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna smoke this. This is the this is the head. That's the jowl. I've got another one that I'm going to put on here, here in a bit, but I got this one on right now. I don't know what else to do with these. So, see if we can get a little bit of bacon out of there. It's got the tongue in there and a little bit of uh, meat on the inside, but other than that, this is the biggest cut that we want. That's our temperature right there. I'm going to show you guys what we got going on. <laughs> So I turned this one earlier. I'm about to turn this one. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. So that's the one on the right and that's the one on the left. All right, so I, I'm here, still playing with my meat. Well, look at this, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's delicious. My fire started to die, so I had to. I had to let everything get out of there because I was starting to get some ugly smoke and I didn't like it. But anyway, that's where I got that little piece from, y'all. Look at that. Oh, it's coming in real good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I don't know where I... I still think that that's going to be mostly bacon right there that I can you know, figure out a way to get that off that jowl. But... Woo! I'm excited. I don't know what kind of bacon I'm going to get out of this. Probably nothing. That other one's got a lot more meat in it. But, like I said, we're just experimenting, guys. I don't want this to go to waste, and I figured I'd have something to do. So I'm doing it. This is a uh, Cooney Cooney Pig again. This is Carl. Thank you, Carl. Time to go inside. We got it up to 150 degrees. Now time to let them rest in the refrigerator. Cool them down. Should be able to slice them. A couple hours. That's what that looks like. Definitely have better meat ratio on that one. A little tongue right there. A little bit of meat up here. Let's see what we get out of it. Like I said, my expectations are not that high. There we go. So this is that second jowl. Look at that, guys. It's beautiful. Now again, this is jowl bacon. This isn't your belly where you got nice, beautiful, long strips. Now these are fatty 
gelatinous, just amazing, amazing flavor out of this. Got a whole lot right there. Probably got about, I want to say about a pound and, you know, I don't know exactly how much, but it's definitely a pound something. And then these are all the little leftovers from that other one. I don't look too good. But it'll be nice, pretty cracklands. And here's some more of that. My wife is uh, trying to cook these the best way she can. You know, cracklings. Basically. We're going to give this a go. Like I said, we've been munching on these already. But these are the best looking ones. Now we just got a nice little fancy, fancy slicer. The last thing we need is to, you know, take these guys to the processor and then they don't give us the head because they say, well, it's got too much fat on it. We don't know what to do with it. It's okay. We don't either, but... I'd rather go ahead and us experiment with it and figure something out with it than letting it go to waste, you know? Uh, we don't we don't believe in waste. Um, now, we'll try things, and if they work, great. If they don't, then we'll continue trying until something works. So, oh yeah, and, and, and guys, don't do this without a shirt. I don't know what it is with me and bacon and cooking without a shirt. I don't have a shirt on. You never have a shirt on inside the house. True, I never have a shirt on inside the house. Maybe one day I'll wear one, but not today. Now, I did not cure this, and, and because I did not cure this, we don't have... Well, I, like I said, I, I'm not one for putting a lot of salt if you see my videos. I'm not one that does salt my food that much. I'm more of a, let me taste it, let me see what it tastes like. And then I'll, and then I'll add some afterwards if I need it. But, let it go. What do you think? I like meat. And I like fat. And we're getting a lot of um, rendered fat into our little bacon jar. So we'll be cooking with that for the next... Six months? No. It'll be gone faster than that. Well, but there's a lot of benefits to, to doing this for us. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of benefits to people that do this too. Um, people that make soap. Hey, what about candles? Can you make candles out of this? I know, I've never made a candle. Bacon candles. You just want like bacon rain. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much crispier do you want this? Because this is it. I'm, I'm done, guys. Um, I'm not going to be making any more. I'm, I'm all bakened out for today. I wasn't here because I was delivering. Um, some chicken and eggs to a customer through the repo ring. So he ate all the bacon logs. No, I didn't. I didn't make a whole lot. It, it, guys, I, I really didn't. These are the pretty cuts. Uh, I practice with a lot of that. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just there was not a whole lot of meat in that. It was all fat. That's going to make some amazing crack lens that we're going to be putting in beans. That I do believe. I, that's going to go straight into our beans, y'all. But this right here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is going to be delicious. And we have about a pound of that over there. And we still have the tongue. And I've got another little slab that I'm going to be cooling on. But... There it is. Beautiful baby slabs of fat and meat. Guys, thank you guys for uh, watching these. And again, if... If this is your type of bacon, jail bacon, man, I'm telling you, go after it. If it's not, it's okay. You know, it's not for everybody. That's the great thing about, you know, what we do is some things are not for us and other things are. And this is definitely for us. 
But thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all.